Pisces and welcome to my channel. This is your October 2018 monthly love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I want to thank you for coming to my channel. I appreciate each and every one of you more than you know. So let's get started here. All right. While I was shuffling for you guys, too, Judgment and the Ten of Cups came out. So we'll see what comes out here. All right. The Alchemist and the Princess of Cups. Amazing. So you guys are manifesting your dreams into reality. You have set your sights on what you want. And you are doing what it takes to go after it. Some of you um, are waiting for somebody to... Uh, get a hold of you to offer you something in love um, that is being delayed for some reason. Um, so it's really causing you to be in your head. It's really causing you an imbalance. Um, you're, you are, uh, yeah, you're finding balance in your life though. You are, you are figuring it out for sure. But you're holding off making an offer to somebody. Um, and in the past, this uh, this imbalance came from a heartbreak. Something that uh, just that broke your heart into many, many pieces. But you guys are doing an amazing job um, putting it back together. Uh, you could be leery about giving your love to somebody because of this heartbreak. Um because all you want is the Ten of Cups. That's all you want. Um, you want love. You want the family. You want the house. You want the the dream of having somebody, one person in your life, give you everything you want. And you will more than happily um, do the same in return. But that is coming in for you. Um, when your heart was broke, this was taken from you. Your Ten of Cups. Um, and that's... That's what you are in search of, to, to get that feeling back. The person you are dealing with, whoa, um, they had to go through a transformation. They had to find a spiritual um, center for themselves. They are coming out of the cold. They are coming back towards you um, with a new light, a new glow about them, a new, um, a new vision in the future of their in a spiritual sense, um, this is coming. This is finding the light of the church and going inside. Um, they have found the connection between the two of you. This is somebody who broke your heart in the past. This is somebody that you have been with, um, but they up and left. They just took off one day, no, no reason, no, no nothing, no word from anybody. And they just took off. They took off because they had to go find themselves. They had to go find what mattered to them, what was important. They needed to rest. They needed to look at things from all perspectives, from all angles to consider their options. Um, and now that they have done that, they um, realize they can't live without you. They want you back. Yeah, there could have been some deceit in the in the past, some a third party energy. Um, but more importantly, they, they were cheating themselves out of a wonderful relationship with you because they weren't listening to their heart. They, um, were letting everything else influence themselves, them. So, um, for the majority of you, this isn't cheating at all. This is them cheating themselves out of a wonderful relationship with you. For some of you, however, it is, um, a third party. And that's why the, it was heartbreaking to you. They could have went back to a partner, a spouse, um, and left you brokenhearted with the promise of a family, but not but not coming through on that. They have awoken to this connection, however, and they are coming back for you. And what's <laughs> I couldn't do this if I tried. What's the next card out? The judgment. They are coming back for you. This is blessed by Archangel Michael. This is a twin flame soulmate connection for those of you who um, do feel you're in that journey. This is most definitely um, a reflection of that. You guys are just kind of mirroring each other. Um, for those of you who are not in that journey and are totally single, you are getting um, you are getting a relationship that's coming back towards you uh, because you have healed and gotten over heartbreak of the past. You are now, I mean, the Ten of Cups is right above the Judgment card. 
So for those of you who are single and want somebody new, you will have somebody coming in that is sent from the heavens that will give you this Ten of Cups life. For those of you in the Twin Flame Soulmate journey, this person is coming back and this relationship will get a second chance um, to provide the happiness that you two both hope for and that was needed to go through this spiritual transformation. Wow. Okay. I mean, maybe tilt wall here. Um, we'll do yours first. Your crowning energy, your overall energy of the reading is the six of swords in reverse, the sun and the wheel both in the upright. So refusing to um, give up on this connection, refusing to um, refusing to move forward, even though things got tough. Even though things um, weren't very easy, you fought through the rough waters and you held on um, because you knew that this was um, this was guided by the universe. This was meant to happen. It was fate. It was destiny that the two of you met the way you did. It was, um, there's just way too many synchronicities and um, things telling you that this was worth holding on for. This was worth the wait. This was worth putting um, all the hard work into what it is that that you had to heal from. And now the wheel is pushing you forward. It is pushing you two back together. And um, your karma has been dealt with. The wheel is turning. And in October, this person is returning. They're over all arching energy. Look at that. Hello. We got the two of cups, temperance. And the moon in reverse. Like I said, this is most definitely to me a twin flame soulmate connection. These, um, when these two come out together, most definitely, um, along with judgment. So, um, for those of you in that journey, here it comes. Reunion is here in October. October is going to be huge for you guys in this journey. Um, they realize that you fulfill them, that you um, fill their cup, and they want to fill yours. You both have healed, balanced yourselves, and now Archangel Michael will be bringing you two back together to fulfill your life's path, your destiny, um, your soul's purpose together with the next change of the moon cycle. Um, it'll be illuminated, and you two will come together. Um, also, it tells me it's a twin flame journey when, um, or soulmate journey when, both arch, um, arching energies over, our, bleh, I can't talk all of a sudden, are the sun and the moon. That is another sure sign for me that my angels give me. Um, the sun is the male um, or the divine masculine. The moon is the divine feminine. Um, whatever, uh, however that resonates with you, you can be the divine masculine and be the female in the relationship and vice versa. But this is most definitely... Um, I couldn't get every card that is a tw Twin Flame Soulmate Journey card for me is here. We have the sun, the moon. We have judgment. The ace of wands, which really isn't one for me, but when it is in this, um, when there's these cards paired together, um, the judgment with the ten of cups and then temperance with the two of cups. Um, when I call for it, if, Either sets of these come out. Um, that is my uh, sign from my angels that that's what this is. You guys got all three. Also, um, your first card out was manifestation. I should have known this was going to be a big reading just by that alone. So amazing, Pisces. You guys, for those of you in the journey that this resonates with, you guys most definitely are coming into union this month. Um, and how exciting and amazing is that? Let's see what our... Um, Romance angels have to say, what can Pisces expect in the month of October? What do they need to know? What do they get to know? Chemistry. Any other messages? Any other messages? All right. That's all I'm getting. All right, your bottom of the deck is separation. The two of you are separated right now. Um, you're apart from each other, uh, but no fear. They are coming back in 
um, October. They cannot deny this magnetic chemistry any longer. You guys have a magnetic attraction. They can't explain it. They don't know why, what, when, where, but they know they need you. They want you and they're coming back for you. So enjoy this time together. Um, for some of you, you will be um, moving in together right away. For some of you, um, you will be in union, but you will be like in separate places until you guys can get um, moved together. Uh, this is going to move very fast for you, Pisces, for this group of you. Um, so hold on because it's, it's coming for you. <laughs> Whoa. All right. Holy smokes. Those just flew out of there. All right. So up to this point, your energy, um, has been the lady in the mirror. So, um, this is the energy up to today that you have, um, surrounding this relationship. So the lady in the mirror is both an ally and a challenger asking you to see yourself in the mirror made by events in your life. She represents the powerful force of law of attraction and reminds you that you are what you attract. This isn't to say that you need to blame yourself for inviting transgressions or if you find yourself a victim in the big picture event. What it, what it is to say is this is a distorted interpretation of the law. Certain things are fated to test our faith. Rather, find yourself within the web woven throughout your life, your relationships, opportunities, desires, seeming failures, and successes. Observe how you respond to life's challenges, great and small, and be aware of what is familiar in the present. Release all judgment and accept things exactly the way they are in love. The Lady of the Mirror asks you to honor every part of your story as essential to your highest unfolding. Can you see yourself being exactly where you need to be on your path? Do you love what you see in the mirror? Can you perceive your part of your reactions and motives behind your current inquiry? You will find your answer through the highest and honest self-appraisal. Um, also, twin flames, they mirror each other, soulmates, they mirror each other in their actions. So do what you want, what you would like your twin to do back towards you. This is another confirmation that this is a twin flame soulmate journey. Um, the spirit whisperer. This is uh, your advice to you from spirit, and it is divine guidance and higher knowing. As your ally, the spirit whisperer comes to you heralding miraculous and, in and inspired. She whispers guidance from the divine through our highest senses so that you can hear wisdom and know her love for you. She is committed to helping you in the, right, the next right action and steers you away from trouble. The spirit whisperer keeps you inspired to move forward, always knowing just in time the next correct step. She guides you to fulfill your highest purpose when she appears. It's a sign of inspired ideas with continual action and lead to success. This is a very good omen for you. The Spirit Whisperer speaks of soul connections, past lives, and great learning through mutual mirroring. Oh my gosh, I just said that. Amazing. Um, she will whisper how long, how short, how deep, and how sweet the relationship can be. There were soul bargains that you made even before you were born here. And an exploration is in order. You may move forward, but keep listening to the spirit whisperer for lessons that the vulnerability of love brings you. Wow. That's amazing. All right. And your um, future energy, if you decide to accept this advice from spirit, is the arrow master. The Arrow Master appears to help you target your intentions and teaches you how to shoot straight for the stars. This message is to be deliberate about focusing your dreams and desires with the intention and the aligning of your intention with spirit. Then let them fly on the wind, directed by the divine, until they reach your goal. The only way to hit the target is to allow the arrow of your intention to fly unencumbered by the eagerness of the travel to see exactly where it goes in a certain way. Um, in the invisible realms, however, human power cannot make this happen. The divine has its own idea of how the arrow flies and upon what wind it's carried. Nonetheless, if you don't shoot, you'll never score. So it's time now to remember the law of detachment. If you do, then you are sure to hit the point. So make your intentions known. Um, make, give it up to the divine, release it, let it go. Let the divine carry, carry that arrow and you, um, if you detach from the outcome, your intentions will find um, 
find you and you will be able to manifest that into your reality. So guys, I am so excited for you. It's going to be a beautiful month um, in October. Huge changes, big shifts of energy, big shifts in consciousness. October is going to be absolutely huge for Pisces, Sagittarius, um, Scorpios, Virgos, and Aries especially, but for, um, oh, and Aquarius, but really as a whole, the consciousness, um, it's going to just be amazing. So enjoy the month, enjoy your um, relationships coming towards you. And as always, I send you love, light and God bless.